Howdy everyone, it's me once again, the one and only Killer Dan. And today, as you can see, I'm still continuing my Disney movie marathon by talking about like pretty much a lot of stuff about Disney, whether it's their films, programs, or whatever else you can think of. So I'm doing that again here, obviously, as you can see, of course. So I just figured I'll do something in terms of cosplay. I know cosplay is something I don't talk about that often, really. Oh uh, yeah, someone had the idea to pretty much combine Sub Zero from Mortal Kombat games and Elsa from the you know from the Frozen franchise and just combine the two. So okay, I can see why you do it. I mean, not as in you know like a relationship kind of a thing, you no, know, but uh, just a combination of the two, just the outfits and whatnot. So it's something like like this. So, yeah, this was uh, published in the article, and yes, this individual has their own, um, they ain't going on their own, um, you know, social media account and whatnot. I've been, been getting a lot of, quite a bit of attention for this kind of a thing, which, okay, seems pretty creative in its own way, sure. And, uh, I always viewed as, viewed cosplay as a form of expression, I guess you would say. And yeah, I thought this was pretty cool. I can not see why she would do this, for the, you know, for the obvious reasons, of course. But yeah. So, I just figured I'd just throw my two cents on this kind of a thing, because I just thought it was pretty cool that this was done, obviously. Because why not, I guess. So, I mean, yeah, it's making cosplay. Some people do make their own cosplay outfits and whatnot. A lot of others just buy it from the actual store and whatnot. But something tells me that this individual made the outfit, of course. But yeah, uh, it's edited with the, you know, the ice bits and whatnot, of course, so there's that. And yeah, you do the own photo shoots and whatnot, so that's pretty cool if you ask me. So, yeah, I would say that this is definitely something I will um, say it's pretty cool. Uh, and obviously, with, uh, you've done some editing, of course, to make it seem for the background or whatever was added. I do like the design of the outfit, and I do like the overall look, of course. So, yeah. Uh, this version of the character was called Sub Elsa, that manifests. And with some, uh, you know, the ice bits and whatnot, and the designs around them, and of course, and whatnot. This is all well put together, I guess, from time. You can tell this individual knows what she's doing. And, yeah. Two of the most recognizable characters with these kinds of, you know, powers you know, from pop culture have been placed into one thing, of course, coming together in this cosplay from this one individual, which I do think is really nice. I got a pretty much glimpse of the attire and whatnot. So yeah, like I said, it's very creative in its own little way. I did like what she was trying to do. Very creative, of course, obviously. So, yeah. And this is definitely a thing, and this, of course, is a good thing. And the individual who did this is a full-time graphic designer. And we do get a, this, of course, with the little effects, enhancements, I guess you would say you can call it, from the photos, of course. We see her, her it, posing and whatnot, doing her thing. So, yeah. So, uh, of course, if you're able to have time for this and you have the money, you even for it, sure, I would say by all means, go for it. And, um, uh, but yeah, so, uh, so you're going to see this kind of a thing, I'll, uh, with this one woman doing her thing and whatnot, yeah, she does have her own, um, Instagram, of course, I, and I will post a link down below to, for Instagram, of course, and if so, if you want to check out her, uh, her thing out, the link will be down below, of course, I'll, I'll post it down for, for everybody to look at, of course. In case, it, in case anyone wants to look at it, of course. So yeah, this is definitely a cool thing, folks. I, I, I like this. The designs are really nice, of course. So yeah. This would, of course, you know, if anybody out there wants to make a cool little story, you can, you can view this as, you know, rain practice. By which I mean, you can, you can use this as a way to, you know, come up with some sort of ideas, scenarios and whatnot, some crazy kind of stories and whatever. So you can say this was really, really cool. I, li I like this. I really do. So, uh, and of course, there's plenty of what she done. This was not the only thing she did. It's just pl there's plenty of 
cosplay that she had done with various other characters. And, and again, I was, like I said, I'll post a link down below for anyone that's curious about what she's doing and whatnot. So, yeah. I'll, um, I thought this was pretty cool. And like I said earlier, I don't talk about cosplay all that often, really. I mean, you think I would have since I, talk, I like talking about anime. Or oh, just animation in general, and I spoke about video games too. And yes, I even talked about manga. So you think I would have talked about you know cosplay more often, which I didn't, unfortunately. I mean, I did before, but just not that frequent about it really. Come to think of it, I guess. But oh well. But yeah, I just thought uh, I'll talk about something a bit more positive. I guess you can say. I know uh, when it comes to these Disney movie marathons. Especially for the past, what, good while, I guess you would say. I've been getting rather, you know, negative, I guess you would say. So, yeah. I thought I'd just do this real quick, because why not? I thought it would be a good thing to talk about this kind of a thing, because why not? I, honestly, I, I don't mind talking about cosplay. Don't get me wrong, I just don't do it that often. Really. I just really don't, because I have some other stuff I want to talk about, I guess you would say. So I and then be pre uh, preoccupied with some uh, other things, some other personal things. I guess you would say. So yeah, it gets kind of, some of the things I want to do gets kind of lost. I guess you can say because of that. So yeah. Uh, I mean, this will not be the last time I talk about cosplay, of course. But I'm just saying. Yeah. So yeah. So uh, I know a lot of people like to write fan fiction about some characters, crossovers, or whatever. And, uh, well, this could be a good way of doing it. I guess having two franchises collide somehow. I don't know. I guess without making it seem cringy, I suppose. But yeah, this seems like a, a good thing, good, um, work on creatively speaking. So yeah, folks. That, uh, I just want to show this kind of a thing, this and that and whatnot. Like, pretty much anything Frozen related, I don't bring up. I mean, you can always, you know, argue that I'm kind of use this as, as an excuse to talk about Frozen. And, um... Uh, yeah, and everybody gets uh, offended by that fact that I'm using this as an excuse to talk about Frozen for like the hundredth time. I don't give a shit! Which, yes, I realize might seem kind of odd because I hate, no, let me use a strong word, loathe musicals. I seriously do not like musicals whatsoever, like, at all. With Frozen being the obvious exception to that rule, obviously. But yeah, folks, so, um... I've spoken about various topics around surrounding around this franchise anyway, so I just thought I guess another one hurt. I, I believe me, folks. I've made a lot. I've been doing a lot of these videos already. So yeah, it's just yeah, like a, like I li literally just said just now that I, I, I guess I'm making another one of these isn't isn't gonna hurt nobody. I guess. And um, uh, but yeah. Uh, I, I believe the person did a really creative job with what, what she was trying to do with the outfit, the design. Uh, like I said, if you have the time, if you have the money for it, I guess you, you could do this kind of a thing, I guess. Sure, why not? Because I much rather have somebody be spending their time, creatively speaking, than, you know, abusing anybody, or abusing any substance, or whatever, you, however you want to say that. Do something with yourself, of course. And, uh, there's a lot, uh, the cosplay community is a pretty big community anyway, and this is one way you can make friends, if you want, I guess. And, uh, but yeah, this could be a pretty cool way you can do some things and whatnot, so I just figured this could be a good way to talk about cosplay, because as I mentioned, like, a few times already, I don't talk about this kind of thing all that often, really. At the very least, not as often as I would like, like, at all, but, uh, not that often, like, as I wish. But yeah, folks, of course, um, you know, this, of course, she was not the only person that did this kind of a thing that, you know, do the, like, a combination of things, of different franchises or whatever. Uh, people have done that before, obviously, but she came up with the, you know, I guess, had some, like, some sort of idea. Uh, sort of combine these two things specifically, I guess. But yeah, I thought, I thought it was pretty cool. I, guess you I thought it was pretty cool that she would do this kind of a thing, of course. Because it's it's something she, can, she had done with, uh, you know, I guess you can say this could be a good exercise for graphic designs and whatnot, the whole photo shoot and everything else will come along with that, of course. 
The outfit looks expensive, though. I, I, I don't know if she made it herself or she bought it somewhere or something. Maybe she, uh, that's, the, that's the thing with some cosplayers. Some cosplayers would uh, make their own. But what of advice, if anybody's listening, that is, of course, is that never ask if it's sports a store bought of the made it because just because the, the cosplayer if you don't call the person that we we'll find it as disrespectful if you just ask them if they made it or whatever just uh, to say some nice things and just you know move along I guess and uh but yeah just because you know a lot I mean yes a lot of, you know some people have, um had made videos showing that how they made it if they made it but if they're gonna explain if they made it and if they're gonna make videos explain how they made it at least let them let them say it. You don't ask about it. Just, you know, like be okay. That's cool. Just just throwing that out there, folks. Just throwing that out there, of course. But um, and there's, there's some people out there that will disrespect, but they will be really disrespectful when it comes to you know cosplayers and whatnot. And uh, which sounds like a whole, which sounds like a whole entire video unto itself. I, I, I go talk about because there are a lot of people out there who are really really rude. But some of the things, especially if the cosplayer is, is attractive, uh, no, at least at the very least, it is a deemed attractive to said person, I guess you can say. So yeah, it can't be um, or the problematic, I guess you can say. Uh, when it comes to taking pictures, you have, you have to ask for permission first, and if the person says the cosplayer says no, uh, just accept that and just move along. But there will be people out there can be really pushy about it, of course. But like I said, that, that sounds like an entire video into itself, which I could talk, which I could talk about, I guess. But uh, but anyway, that's like a definite maybe if I would, folks. Anyway, blah 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 blah. Back to this uh, this one lady who did this one thing with uh, Elsa and Sub Zero and whatnot. But yeah, I can I can see why she would do this for the obvious reason, with the icy powers and whatnot. And I thought it was pretty cool that she had actually done this kind of a thing. So I just thought, why not? And, um, I mean, she's not hurting nobody, of course, not at all, whatsoever. But, yeah, I thought this was a really interesting thing that she would do. Of course, I like the hair, I like the, uh, the graphics she had on it, I like the whole thing, she, the, the colors and everything. But, yeah, it, it was really cool. I, I really like that. So, that's definitely uh, a thing, of course, that she had done. She spent a good amount of time. But anyway, as always, thanks for watching, and take care. Until next time, see ya. Oh yeah. Later.